Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over my August budget, um, which is crazy because that means that summer is over. And um, anyways, yeah, now it's September now. I'm filming this on the 1st. So I am just going to go right in to my August spend. I'm sorry, I just went out for drinks with my coworkers and I am still a little bit um, faded. So I'm sorry if this video is just really weird, but um, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to get through this like normal. But yeah, we're gonna start here as always. My mortgage payment, which actually went up since I, it's officially been a year now that I've been paying my mortgage. So they reevaluated given like my taxes and everything. So I now pay 968 per month, which is an increase of about $30. So not too big of a difference, but um, a little bit. So yeah, 968. And oh, also before I go any further, I just wanna let you know that I'm setting up a whole category for vacation, which will include all the restaurants, everything I bought, all of that, like in the same vacation category. So just so you know, that's going to be coming in like a few categories. Um, so that won't be included in like my restaurants and dining, which I'm about to get into. Since I put a lot of things on my card for like the whole group and there was so much like splitting of payments and things like that. So I just thought this would be easier to show just all I spent on vacation. Okay, so for restaurants and dining, I spent $145 and I think like 120 of that was from... Uh, taking my family out to dinner since they were here last weekend uh, they helped out with like doing some more house stuff and things like that so usually when they come I'll pay like the bill for that so yeah I paid 145 for restaurants and dining uh, utilities was 233 um, 100 was the upstairs electric bill since they have the AC um, our electric bill is only like 50 since I'm a little bit stingier on the electric bill or like with the AC. But yeah, then the rest of that was gas and things like that. Next was groceries. I paid about $100 even. So that was stuff like before my trip and after, which isn't too bad. A lot of that was actually yesterday. I went and got a whole bunch of groceries. So there's that. General merchandise, 135. I bought some stuff for my trip. So things like sunscreen, um, shampoo and stuff for like the Airbnb things like that was the general merchandise I know it's like 135 I don't remember what the rest of it was but I know I bought some stuff like on Amazon and, and things like that home improvement was 110 so um, yeah well my family was over we did a lot of like house work stuff let's see we got the fridge in where it's supposed to be so the fridge is in the kitchen now and we hooked it up with the water supply so I had to go to Home Depot like five different times because we kept ending up needing like another part, which is crazy. And uh, yeah, so that, that was the big part of that. And then to go into vacation, on my vacation, if you don't watch my vlogs or anything, I went to Vegas for a week. Uh, that was two weeks ago now. And the entire vacation, not including the flight or the Airbnb, I spent $582, which is pretty great because I was planning to spend between 1000 and 1500 just on like stuff, um, going out, things like that. And I was very, very below budget. So um, I can make a separate video on how to like travel on a budget and stuff since I'm pretty good about keeping a good budget. Um, I think for a whole week, that's pretty good. Especially since we basically went out for like a lot of the meals. It was definitely a fun time. Super hot. I don't know if I'd recommend going in August, but I had a good time and I would have definitely done it again if I had the choice. Next is subscriptions. I paid six dollars as usual, three for my ring doorbell and then three for my iCloud membership. Health and medical, sixty-three dollars. I didn't have to pay for anything outside of my monthly Invisalign payment. Yeah, so my last thing for my expenses was my car payment which was two thirty-four as usual. Yeah, so a pretty like normal month other than the vacation. But overall, I spent less than I thought, which is great. So yeah, can't be too mad. And then for my income, it was a very like boring kind of month for me. My salary for August was 26 21 
which is just like average, nothing special or anything. Uh, and then I had $2 for dividends and interest. Some of that was like in my 401k, some of that was just in my normal retail account, and then some from my savings account. So uh, not very much, but I'm hoping as I keep investing, it will grow and I'll have some more dividends and interest coming in. And then um, rental income is 1000 So yeah, overall, just a pretty average kind of month. For the spend for August, I spent $2,566, which isn't horrible. Definitely a lot less given that I went on vacation and I haven't really been on vacation in a while. So I was planning on like spending a lot and kind of like going all out, which just didn't end up happening, which I feel like is usually the case when I go on vacation is like I, I plan to spend like a lot. But then once I actually get to doing it, it never happens but yeah that was spent and then my income uh, let's say I could just do this in my head three thousand six hundred and twenty three dollars so that's nice that I had a bit of that cushion there I spent less than the amount of like the salary I made so then I had the uh, about like $80 left over from that plus the thousand from my rental income it actually came out on top which is great. Lately, I feel like I haven't necessarily been on top with that, so that's nice. Oh, I finally, I just remembered what the rest of that general merchandise spend was since it was 135 and I just could remember like buying sunscreen, which was obviously less than that. So $88 of that was from a subscription that I did just for my vacation. It's called Newly, N-U-U-L-Y, I think. So it's this clothing rental subscription where you rent like, I think it's six items for the whole month and you pay $88. So I bought like, or I rented a like really kind of like glittery dress for while I was in Vegas. Um, it's on my Instagram if you're interested. As well as some other like tops and like shorts and things that I wouldn't necessarily wear at home or like around here. So I thought it was super worth it to rent in that case. I'm definitely glad I did it. I'm considering if I should do it for next month too. I think I will. And then August, I have a wedding to go to. So I was thinking I could keep the subscription and then get a dress to wear to the wedding. Cause I'm not a big fan of like buying formal dresses since you only really want to wear those once. And there's no way I'm gonna like buy something and then only wear it once if you know what I mean. So I definitely thought it was worth it for the vacation for sure because then I didn't have to go out and like buy all new clothes and I didn't have to really worry about it like staining since they take care of all of that and for like special occasions things like that so if you're interested um, this isn't sponsored or an affiliate or anything I just remembered what that extra money went to so that's what that went to I'm thinking about doing a separate video on like just what I spent on vacation just to maybe help you guys who are trying to like budget while you go somewhere or if you're interested in Vegas specifically since we did go to a couple like fancier restaurants and stuff and we still kept the budget pretty low I'd definitely be happy to share that with you or if you have any questions just ask them below and I'll respond but other than that I don't really have much else to say I know this was a really short video compared to my usual one whenever you see this I hope you have a really great day a great weekend whenever it is and I hope to talk to you soon so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.